What's going on guys? It's my buddy Shaq here with me today. Uh, you can follow him on all of his Instagram pages below, which he'll plug later in the video. Today we're gonna convert a regular cool suede headliner that I made in a previous video into this. So basically we're gonna do that, but before we get started, I gotta talk about today's sponsor, which is now, I was recently told a weird fact about backgammon. I was told that backgammon is popular with men who are successful with women, which explains a lot because I've actually never played backgammon until today. So I got to check it out. I downloaded backgammon live and guess what? Women love me. No, Laura, I swear, it's just for the ad. No, I, no. So backgammon live is actually one of the biggest backgammon apps that you'll find. A little over 10 million players. You can play with experienced backgammon players from all over the world. You can enjoy the game with different country themed boards and special board variants which each have their own specific features which changes every couple of days. Complete quests every day to win different prizes. Don't like a specific quest? No problem! Just like replace it or something, I don't know. The game also has other mini games such as blackjack, hilo, roulette, and slots. I love me a good old slot. No, no babe, it's, it's just for the ad. I, it's still for the ad, yes, I know, I'm still doing it. So, when you download the game from my link below, the first 10 users that reach level 25, I'll give you 100,000 coins. And you know what, just because I'm feeling charitable, every other contestant will get a bonus too. You know, via the game. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come to your house or anything, because that would be weird. And before we get back to the video, I'm gonna tell you some interesting facts about backgammon. Okay, in the 13th century in France, Backgammon was banned. Like, backgammon is prohibited in Islam. <laughs> I have so many jokes about that one that I, I can't say on the internet. <laughs> and there's a couple other ones, but I feel like two. I feel like two is a good limit for, for backgammon facts. So, uh, let's get back to the video. This is my friend Shaq. You guys know him as Swag Pack Shaq. Swag Pack Shaq. What camera am I looking at? There. You guys remember he's done it. He's been in videos and stuff before we did the toy run with him. What's going on, um, Dan fans and YouTubers? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Swag Pack Shack. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Plug all your shit. Swag Pack Shack on Instagram. S W A G P A C K underscore S H A Q. And then my YouTube page is also Swag Pack Shack. That's up in the up in the works. He does a lot of like. What, what do you even do? Like. I have no idea what you do. I do a lot of lighting stuff. Yeah? Yeah, I like to do LED lights. As far as like interior lighting and engine bay lighting, trunk lighting, stars in the ceiling lighting, rim lighting, I do all that, so. Yeah, apparently he does lighting and stuff, which which is the whole reason that he's here today. We have the Starlight kit thing. You got a bunch of these little fiber optic cables or wires or whatever they are, different sizes. And uh, basically, you just poke holes all throughout the headliner, put them in, glue it on the backside, trim it, and then it looks like stars in the headliner, like the photo that I'm showing you guys right now. And it runs all through this box, and he's gonna help me do this because he does a really good job at it. But yeah, he's, he's a cool guy. I like him a lot. So basically, you gotta throw a drill bit through it, and yep. then you shove it in the hole, and then it goes through the other side. Hopefully, if you're lucky. Yeah, yeah if you're lucky. Now, Shaq and I, mostly Shaq, are gonna drill little tiny holes all over this back material. All right, so 430. 430. 430 holes. 430 holes? Yeah, 430 holes. Holy shit, you keep counting or you just like wing it? I keep counting. So cool. Oh man. Oh man, it looks so cool. And we haven't even trimmed these yet. They still need to be trimmed, but 
Dude. <laughs> it looks so cool. That's sick. Dude, this is gonna be the coolest truck headliner ever. I, I haven't been able to find another truck like this. By the way, he, he does this like, he'll, like you can pay him money and he'll do this for you. So yeah, I don't, I don't know if you want to, obviously he's in Georgia with me, so it's not like he's going to come to California or anything. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this fucking rat's nest. Of Chad got here about 2, 2.30. Yep. We've been working on it ever since. And I, I'm, I'm like helping too, like, oh, you got to go on. Oh, yeah, dude, you, you can see it on. like, yeah, you can see it here, flip that red switch over there. Yeah, you can see it through the hot roof. Oh, dude, that is cool. You're taller than me. Oh, that's neat looking because you can see through the hot glue. Dude, that looks so cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that looks so cool, man. Now we gotta trim the excess, which means, what, we just flip it over and start cutting? So we start cutting. Comes with a conventional plug, like a regular outlet, like a. Yeah. What are these wall plugs? It comes in with. Uh, this. Yeah, one of these things. Yeah. So basically, what Shaq and I, get, and mostly Shaq, have to do is splice that, put it into a, um, a, a power source that comes on when the truck turns on, mm -hmm. so it's not all the time on, it's always controlled by a remote. We want it to come on and turn off whenever you turn the car on, so that way it's not idling and killing your battery. So we have to do that. We have to do all the wire management. We have to put it in, is that it? Put it in, that's okay, it. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we have a couple of strands that we missed. We're gonna put those in places, cover up any of the holes that we missed, and then wire it up. So, let's do that that's thing it. that we said. including the sunroof, which you'll see in a different video. Um, I've also done the visors, but they're not in here right now. I still have to run wires to them. And that's the microphone system, phone call. Whew, you have to forgive me, I'm, I'm beat. I probably look like shit, but it's cool. Um, Shaq helped me get the headliner basically in and set. It still needs to be cleaned up, but I just finished trimming everything. Like, I finished getting everything nice and trimmed and cleaned up. So we were hooking up the module box, which that's actually shacks because I'll explain why. In the process, we were trying to hardwire it into one of the plugs. There's um, a bunch of wires over here. We're trying to hardwire into that. So it basically turn on whenever the truck turned on. So we didn't want it to like basically be like on all the time. We're hardwiring it into there and it fried my box. And uh, now the radio doesn't turn on and the outlet plugs that these plug into don't work and we don't know why check the fuses all the fuses are good i'm really worried that we burnt something up but so in the process of doing that somehow fried my motor but oh man it looks so fucking cool and shack's motor is actually a little bit darker than mine so mine is a little bit brighter than the one that i got and we'll come back at night and look at it again so I can show it to you guys, but it was well worth it. 
All right, so get this. I got the radio working again, and let me let me tell you guys, thanks to one YouTuber who made a video out there, one, one guy who made this YouTube video, what was happening is that the radio screen wasn't turning on. It was all just black. I mean, you can still touch it and stuff like that. You can still listen to music and stuff, but you couldn't, couldn't do anything on the radio. The radio wouldn't turn on, at least the screen wouldn't. So this guy makes a video talking about how when he changed his cabin air filter, it, it just stopped working. And I just changed my cabin air filter. In here, you have this box right here this big box it's got like four or five connections on it set a blue one and there's two blue ones this one's blue right here and then this one's blue he said just give it a wiggle see if the radio don't come on and i'll be damned if i didn't wiggle the shit out of it and the radio came on if this affects i think 2015 sierras and up like current year models at least i know up to 2019 so just be cautious of this he said he taped his down I'm not gonna go that far and do it. I think that a good old wiggle wiggle should have should have handled it. Cause if it's working now, I don't wanna make it not work later. Just a heads up, if you have one of these trucks, your radio stops working, that's what it is. Just needs to be wiggled, these connections in here. It's under your, your dash, there's your, this is where your uh, cabin air filter goes in this little box with the with the beehive looking shit on it. Nut right here, this one. That's the one I wiggled. Radio works now. 